Hello, fishing family and friends. <laughs> we hope everyone is doing fantastic today. We have another fun, action-packed day of fishing. This is our first day back to one of our favorite spots. Probably still our favorite, right? Or second well, favorite. It's in the top two. Yeah, it's in the top two. <laughs> Water's a little cold today. Very cold. Uh, we don't have waders on, as you can see. But we, the temperature's hot. So. We might regret it later when the sun goes down. It's okay. I tried to come catch these fish Sunday, but I had I had trouble finding bait fish. So I told them I'd be back. And they're bait fish. Huh, they're out today, so I'm I'm back for the fish of vengeance. And I got smallmouth slayer with me, so they really don't stand a chance. All right, well, I look forward to this adventure. I want to go on the other side of the wall and get snagged. Oh, that was a bad cast. Sometimes bad casts still catch fish. But we're going to have to redo that. Fish already. They are, they are still here, but they are just under the. Oh, he's little, a <laughs> little smally. Is it smally or red he looks like a little smally. He, oh, look at all the bait fish. Golly. Yeah, he's. You a thing? Yeah, he's mean. My drag's just right though. It is just right. A little loose, but look at him. He's smart. He's like. Yeah, right on that stick. They get off the stick. I try not to let him tangle. Look at him trying to tangle me on the stick. Well, I'm trying to wrap you on it. They do know that he's little. But he's red eye, mean red eyed Smalley. Gosh, their eyes are so red today. Look at this little fish. Fighting like a 18 incher. So purdy. You hooked real good. You weren't going nowhere, buddy. <laughs> you just dug yourself in there deeper. All right, first smallie of the day, uh, second smallie of the year. Hey, look, I got you on my arm. You're famous. You're famous. You're famous. Hey, look, he's like, oh my gosh, she's got a tattoo of me. <laughs> Bye, buddy. There is a ton of bait over here. We've caught some fish in this area last year, but it looks different. Trees been sawed. Trees have been moved. But it's still deep and there's still current and there's food, a lot of it too. Let's see. The camera can pick that up. You think they can pick that up? Can pick that up? So much bait in there. If I get any closer, they're gonna scurry. Yeah, probably because there's some big eyes out there. Upstream paddling. You don't see too many anglers doing this. It's been a while since I've done a good old trick upstream like this. So y'all don't judge me. Just gotta use all your muscles. With all your might. <laughs> what? All right, time for some cast netting. I hope I'm at a good angle here. Got rocks in my shoes, really need to invest in some better wading shoes. Gosh, there's so many of them. So many. We just don't know if they're the right size. They might be. They're done, they're done. Some of them were in fact the right size and this rock better not have screwed me over. Oh, I cast net a whole rock in with this. 
Yeah, I got some. I might have lost some because of this rock, but they were borderline because half of them were hanging out through the net. <laughs> and uh, this rock probably lets them out too. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty shallow. I could take another tug at them. I believe they're still dumb enough to be out there. Because there was only like four. You'll see these bad boys. All right. Take one more throw at them. Right. Let's not get lost in our cast netting today. That's right. You know we love cast netting. We just don't want to pass up an opportunity to catch bait. We, we forget about catching the fish. We forgot why we came here. Hey, I'm gotten pretty decent at throwing 12 foot in that though. Good. I still plan on getting a new one though, cause these, uh, it gets tangled very easily. This is Ozark Trail brand. It's a Walmart sporting goods brand net. Um, it's not my favorite. I definitely like the last one I had better. Yeah. Alright. This is a different angle. Steer clear. Steer clear. They didn't take long. That didn't take long at all. I thought it looked like there might be one over there today. Fish! Fish! Got a fish! Jump for the camera! Jump for the camera! Maybe a red eye. Oh, I don't think it's a I red think eye. It's a small mouth. Yep, I think it's a small mouth. I see it. Yep. It's diving. Yep. Dude, it's coming in. It's waiting. It's coming Doesn't want to jump. Tighten up my drag. Doesn't want to jump. He just wants to fight. No, I think your drag's about right. That's a decent sized fish. Decent sized fish. Oh, uh, he's fighting. Yeah, we'll go back this way. <laughs> He's trying to get these stones. He's seen that net and he said net. no. Not that big net, no. <laughs> no, I'm not He's that seen that net. No. Oh. Get in here, fish. Mean red eyed Smalley. Yeah. Gosh, these are some mean fish. Oh, took the category for biggest fish so far today. Fish number two. It's not a bad one. Mean. And they got those red eyes. They're so mean. Oh, come on. Do you got pliers handy? He's a little deep. I think we can get it. He's scared. He like instantly took it. Do your underwater Ooh. camera release? Yeah, sure. That would be fun. I bet he's going to try to swim away. Alright, time to release fish number two here. Say bye, Smalley. Gosh, he, he was, wasn't very graceful, was he? No, he got out. He's going to I'm out of here. Trying to find where the fish are at over here today. Be in the shade up under this tree. Could be anywhere. There's so many places for fish. I just get so overwhelmed trying to decide where to fish over here. Oh, here we go. Fish. Too bad I don't have a landing now. He's little. Oh no, that's a, that's a little that's a rock bass. 
Get up, get up here, buddy. Finally, got a fish. Got a fish. Oh, he's a pretty little fish. Oh! It's a, it's a crazy fish. It's going crazy. It's going crazy. Little Rocky. So nice to see you. A lot going on right now. Oh, he's all right. He's knocking me into this tree over here. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, I'm gonna set you free, okay? I know it don't seem like it right now. But I'm gonna kill him. Not intentionally. A lot going on over here. Okay, letting him go, letting him go. Bye, buddy. You don't get the on-camera release. Well, you actually, you do, kind of. Oh, <laughs> he was mad. <laughs> he splashed me real good on his way out. A little smally, but he fought like a champ. Oh man. He was practicing for the big leagues. <laughs> All right, here he is. Here he is. Practicing for the big leagues. Smally number three, fish number four. Practicing for the big leagues. All right, bye. There we go. There we go. Fish hanging out over here by the snag. I got a fish dragging me a little bit. I don't know. I don't think he's that big. No, just a mean little smallmouth. Oh, don't swim out of camera view. Landed them with my bare hands today. <laughs> Gotta land them with your bare hands when you forget your landing net. That's always fun. Nothing beats landing a fish with your bare hands. He's smally number four. Nothing super big yet. I say yet because the goal is to get a big one. Oh, oh, he's going crazy in here. Ow, ow, ow. He's landing with your bare hands now. <laughs> ah. Oh. I'm trying to get you back in the water. He's hooked real good in his lip. Alright, say bye to our Smolly friend. Bye, Smolly. Fought like a champ. Ooh. 
Ooh. Man, these fish are extra feisty today. Extra feisty. Tell you what. Oh, please don't get me snagged in a tree. <laughs> no, but he could potentially easily get me snagged in that tree. So I'm trying to keep him tight. Oh, he's coming out in the current. Good fish. Good smolly. Good smolly. Nice jump. I hope that was a clear shot of the camera. He don't feel very big. Little, like the little fish, big jump. <laughs> Thank you for skipping over that log for me, fish. That's what he was doing. He's like, I don't want to get snagged up. Smallmouth Slayer Jr. has to, you want to see, oh, you're a show off. You are such a show off. This fish is showing off. Showing out fish. Land this mean smallie with my bare hands. Can I do it? Ah, it's like the fish rodeo today. The fish rodeo. Land of these mean red eye smallies with my bare hands today. I love it. Just trying to show my fish. Landed him with my bare hands. Smallie number five. All about this size. He's actually one of the slightly bigger ones. Smalley. Say goodbye to our small friend. He's like, wait a minute, it's kind of shallow right here. <laughs> that was fun. It's ought to be fun. Unless someone tips. Here we go. That will don't turn me. I hit two of the obstacles. You hit anything? Dang, I came down there rough. I hit two of the obstacles. Fish. It didn't. Got a fish. Got a little. A little smally. smally. Little smally. Oh, that's a little larger or something. Oh, where was one tasting? Might have been a spot or might be a spot. No, he's a little largey. No, he's got right eyes. I don't know. No, that's a little spot. Wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, fins are way connected. Yeah, and he's red. <laughs> he's just a pale spot. All right, species number three, uh, first spot, fish number seven. Well, he sure is a cute little guy, isn't he? Cute little fish. Bye, fish. All right, fish. Giving me trouble the other day. Let's see if you give me trouble now. Yep, already. He's little. He's either a rock bass or a little little fish. Little fish. It's a little rocky. Pretty sure. 
or the world's smallest freaking rock bass. Yeah, world's smallest rock bass. <laughs> He's so little. It's rock bass number two. He is so tiny. Oh my gosh. He must have been hiding in some brush under the water. Oh, he's so little and cute. Oh, he reminds me of Jakari. <laughs> Bye, little fish. He's like, dang. He got through back in the water. I like this new mouth. No, it's not good. Well, I'm snagged. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's a funny story. I got off work and immediately was ready to go fishing. So I didn't feel like loading my kayak. So Smallmouth Slayer brought his extra one. But he forgot the plug. So check out this makeshift plug. quite a plug right there. Sometimes you just gotta improvise. What's up fishing family and friends? I hope everyone is doing fantastic. It's been a while since I filmed an intro or an outro in the car, but I'm really behind. This adventure was actually from back in late April, so the creek water had yet to warm up enough for there to be enough fish to be in there like they normally are because this is one of my favorite streams to fish and typically on an average day you're going to catch a ton of fish and a lot of good ones at that but on this particular trip the fish had not moved up into this creek yet it still had been fairly cold and it just wasn't a good time for there to be a lot of fish but we still caught fish that day but when we fished my honey hole, there was like nothing there, which is crazy because there's usually a ton of fish in there. I haven't been back there since, but I plan on going back there within the next few weeks because there's probably a ton of fish in my honey hole. So I look forward to going back to that stream and actually catching a decent amount of fish. Now on this day, I fished with live bait. This is typically the only way I'll fish this stream. It seems to be like the fish get targeted a lot or it could be the water clarity, whatever it is, something about that stream makes it hard to fish artificial. Typically, I cast net my own bait to catch fish out of that stream, but it produces well. So I look forward to going back and I actually have a few streams close to me that I'm going to be exploring here soon. I've been wanting to check them out for a while, but I haven't been able to find access, but I actually have access now. I know a couple of people who have granted me permission to access on their property. So I've got three different streams that I'm gonna be checking out here pretty soon because it's time to get back to exploration. I had to put it off last year because I was pregnant, but now it's time to get it done. I'm ready to find some new places to fish. I recently checked out a new stream here the past few weeks ago and I actually went twice in a week and I plan on putting both trips from that stream in the same vlog. So I have started exploring again and I look forward to checking out new places and going back to places where I've done well this time of year. I'm definitely going to be going back to the places that I know where the fish are because Nothing beats a relaxing day fishing a stream that I'm familiar with, but I also like the thrill of checking out new places. So I look forward to that. Got a trip coming up next month, about a month away, a little over a month away. We'll be going to Michigan, fishing a big lake that I've never fished before. I'm not gonna have any depth finder, so it's gonna be a challenge. Definitely going to be vlogging that trip and I'm hoping to catch some fish. And I will have the kids too, so we'll definitely have an episode of when you take kid fishing when we go on our trip. Well, anyways, thank you so much for checking out that vlog, and I look forward to the next adventure. Okay.